today we are going to see by a diagram how simply you can draw and remember broadman's area. So what is broadman's area? So broadman has mapped your whole of the brain into 52 areas so that and they will divide and map the various area like motor area, sensory area and various cortical lobes also. So that we can have an idea that if uh, the area in the occipital cortex go on, then there will be some involvement of the visual pathway or temporal, then there will be auditory or some uh, or uh, frontal lobe, uh, some area is gone or involved, then you have a disorder of the facade and all those things. Okay. So simply we will see very quick how we do. So you will start drawing the diagram, you also draw the three. For you to remember how I am going to name it very quickly. All literature is given everywhere, so I have just so yesterday I have told you this is frontal, so how you this is the lateral surface, and from here the central surface is coming down, so this is uh, at the ground uh, uh, 70 degree, and there is a pre occipital surface and there is a notch. So we will make them in a hypothetical line. So this is, we have read yesterday. So this is a frontal lobe, this is a temporal, this is a parietal and this is the oxygen. So these are the various lobes and the part. So now coming to the sulfur. So one before this we have drawn, then two is this, superior temporal, superior frontal, uh, sulcus and middle. So this will divide into three parts. Here also two. Okay. So there will be three guiders. Here there will be a signal. So superior parietal lobule and inferior parietal lobule. Okay. So this we have discussed and here there will be uh, sulcus in occipital lobe. So how do you start naming it? So for this, how will you do that? So, 3, 1, 2. So, any, we have to remember the cricket match. Cricket match, any cricketer, he, he wants to take uh, 4 runs. And there is a crucial lead of run. So, he will say, okay, 3, 1, 2 and he will hit the ball. So, he will hit the, the ball and ball goes for 4. Okay. So, how do you remember? 3, 1, 2. Here is the 4 and so either 4 or 3, 1, 2 is your baseline. So before doing, if you are procrastinating and you have to do some work, then what you will say, you will see 3, 1, 2 and you will start doing that work. That is the simple trick to start doing the work. Okay. So 3, 1, 2, the batsman say and he has picked the 4. Okay. So either 4 or gya, so either ka number 2. Five. So either four, either five. So then, this part wala number here will be six, and here will be seven. Okay, clear. So now, what will be there? So there will be eight. Frontal eye field eight. Then in the this frontal cortex or prefrontal cortex, we have to name nine, ten, eleven. Clear. So we will start with a cricket match. Cricket match is there. Batsman is thinking of hitting a four. So we will say three, one, two. Then he will hit the four. So four. So either four agya to piche uske will be five. Agya six. Then will be seven. Then eight. Then nine, ten, eleven. You can also add twelve here. But till eleven, at least at UG level, you should remember this. Okay, so these are the broadman's area here. Now, coming here. So here, now what will happen? Here we have read that the two ramai, anterior horizontal and anterior ascent. Okay, so one, this is the 2.5, this is 2.5 and this is the posterior, that is the 7.5, longest. So these enclose three areas. So what is this? Here, here and here. Okay. So this you have to know because Broca's speech area is here. Now we will start with the temporal reason. 
Okay, so we will uh, finish till 11, 12 like this. Then we have here. After that, we will come diagonally opposite. Okay, in the occipital region. So this is 17, this is 17. Then this is 18, this is 18. And we have 19 and 19. Okay, so we will go from the frontal, we will, we will go to diagonally opposite. And after that, we will come here and the temporal reason. Okay, so temporal reason we are coming, so we are going from here to here and here. Okay, so diagonally opposite, we will be taking 20, 21, and 22. Okay, so 22 is the burning case speech area. It's very important. Burning case speech area. Okay. Now, we have what? We have 41. We have 42. 41, 42. And we will rotate the cycle. 41, 42. And remember, we have 42. 41, 42 can so this area is related to your oddity. So what will think first the a person? So from the frontal you will start where the person will see. So frontal jana occipital may will see, then he will hear some sound also. So we will come to temporal. So 20, 21, 22, case speech area and then these are the auditory area and this 43 is the taste area. 43, now we will have 44, 45 and 47. Ye chhod bhi denge to what is most important is your 44 and 45 because these are the Broca's, Broca's speech area. Okay, so these are the important area and this is the primary motor area. Area number 4. All the contralateral movement is controlled by this of the cerebral cortex. And this is the association motor area. Association motor area. And below this, since it is a limiting sulcus, if, uh, after that, this all area will be your sensory area. Okay? So, sensory area. And this is the frontal eye field. In some book, it may be given 7, 8 together. Like 7, 7 is also to fit the, in the frontal eye field. Or some may consider 9. So it may vary. So you can consider 7, 8, 9, anything combination of this, you can include in the frontal eye field. And it will control what? Conjugate eye movement of the both the eyeballs. Okay. So both the eyes to so conjugate movement. So these are in short about that broadband area. Uh, in this superior lateral surface, you are supposed to know for your exams and for the issue. Okay? And so what is the Broca's area? Broca's area, if it is damaged, then there is a aphasia. Aphasia means Broca's area aap kya kar sakte ho? Bohat bolne wala aur achanak se he will be on mute mode. So that is the Broca's aphasia. And Verney case, Verney case area, mute, it will be on the other side of the mute. It will uh, but speak very quickly and it will form new new words. The formation of new words which never exist and which don't, you won't be able to understand. So that is the vertical speech area. So this is very um, common and favorite question of examiner. So you must know all this. So this is a quick how to draw a broadness area and how to remember it.